Hi, I'm Emily Rose. And I'm Dan Philgreen. Welcome to Shell Point Today for Thursday, April 26th. On today's show, Pastor Andy Hawkins of the Village Church tells us about a very special service. It's a service of healing. We do this periodically in the Village Church, and it recognizes a couple of important elements about uh, Jesus' care of the human body. The Legacy Foundation will give us a preview on an important financial presentation. Having a professional there to, that's in this business will be able to um, make them less anxious. We look into the history and evolution of Shell Point's hospice care. Located on the fourth floor of the Larson Pavilion Skilled Nursing Center, Shell Point's nine-bed general inpatient hospice unit offers both symptom management and end-of-life care in a beautiful waterfront setting. And a staple of SPTV hangs up her apron. I'm not going to do the cooking show anymore. I started in 2006 and um, it's been a long run and I've loved every minute of it. We've done about 240 shows. I bet you didn't know this. It was on this day in 1956 when the first commercially successful container ship hit the open seas. The SS Ideal X was converted from a World War II oil tanker to a large scale container vessel. In its maiden voyage, the Ideal X hauled 58 containers from Newark, New Jersey to Houston, Texas. The ship set the bar for modern cargo vessels, which transport roughly 90% of non-bulk cargo worldwide. The largest ships today can carry over 19,000 containers. Now that's incredible. Just a reminder that today the Aviation Club will be meeting at 1.15 in the Social Center. Today's meeting will feature former air traffic controller Dwight Anderson, who will inform everyone about the efforts it takes to regulate air traffic at airports of all shapes and sizes. With over 20 years of experience working in major metropolitan settings, Mr. Anderson is an expert on what it takes to control the highways and the skies. Tomorrow is another courtside chat with Shell Point President Martin Chappelle. This session is for the residents of Rosemont. They will gather to discuss community news and updates around Shell Point. So, if you live in Rosemont, feel free to drop by the Grand Cypress Room at 2 p.m. Happening this Friday is the always exciting game of bingo. Come on out to the Social Center at 2.15 for the chance to win some amazing prizes, including a gift certificate to the community thrift store. It takes five letters to walk away a winner, but only if you show up to play. Looking ahead to next week, get ready for the announcement of what will be the inaugural exhibit at the Trivi Art Center. Volunteer curator Marge Lee will lead the presentation at 1 p.m. in the Grand Cypress Room. All Shell Point artists are encouraged to attend to learn about the basic details for the exhibit, which will be on display once the Trivi Art Center opens in 2020. Every month, Shell Point Life captures the stories and information that residents have come to love. Starting next week, there will be a new way to enjoy this amenity. On Tuesday and Thursday, a new voice recorded version of Shell Point Life will air on Channel 12 at 10 a.m. and again at 2 p.m. It's the same exquisite content you've come to expect from Shell Point Life, but with a new twist. So make sure you tune in next week to hear Shell Point Life come to life. The seasons are changing things up, and so is Village Church Senior Pastor Andy Hawkins. We recently caught up with him to find out about a special upcoming service. 